In this video, we're going to cover continuity of a function at a number. A function is said to be continuous at a number if all these are satisfied. First, f of c exists. The limit of f of x as x approaches c exists. And the limit of f of x as x approaches c is equal to f of c. Let us have some examples. Let's say, for example, 1. We need to identify if the given function is continuous at the given value of x. So for this item, our function is 3x minus 2. And we need to identify if this function is continuous at x is equal to 2. So let us have f of 2. So doing this, we just need to substitute the given value of x to our function. So we would be doing 3 times 2 minus 2. And therefore, I have 6 minus 2. And this is 4. Next, we need to get the limit of the given function. So 3x minus 2 as x approaches 2. So we have to get the limit of 3x as x approaches 2 minus the limit of 2 as x approaches 2. So by substitution, we have 3 by 2 minus 2. So we have 6 minus 2, and this is 4. Since f of c, which is 4, is equal to the limit of the function as x approaches 2, then, the function is continuous at x is equal to 2. Let us try for this function. x squared plus 2x minus 4 at x is equal to 1. So, let us have f of 1. So, we have 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 4. And therefore, we have 1 plus 2 minus 4. So this will be 3 minus 4 and we have negative 1. So let us get the limit of x squared plus 2x minus 4 as x approaches 1. So this would be the limit of x squared as x approaches 1 plus 2 times the limit of x as x approaches 1, minus the limit of 4 as x approaches 1. And by substitution, we have 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 4. So 1 plus 2 minus 4, and this would be negative 1. So f of 1 is equal to the limit of the function as x approaches 1. Therefore, the function x squared plus 2x minus 4 is continuous at x is equal to 1. So generally speaking, if you classify the given functions, these are both polynomial functions. And if you are dealing with polynomial functions, these are continuous everywhere. So whatever given value of x, we can always conclude that the function is continuous. Because polynomial functions are continuous everywhere. Let us have another example. In this case, we are given a rational function. So let us try to do f of 5. So if we try to substitute this to our given function, we have 5 squared minus 6 times 5 plus 5 over 5 minus 5. So this would be 25 minus 30 plus 5 over 0. So we have 0 over 0. 
and therefore f of 5 is undefined. So in this case, since f of 5 does not exist, therefore we can say that the function is discontinuous at x is equal to 5. Since the given function is a rational function, we have to take note that rational functions are continuous at its domain, meaning to say that the function is only continuous to some values of x except for the values of x that would make our denominator 0. Let's have example 3. Let's say we have this piecewise function and we would like to identify if this function is continuous at x is equal to 3. Examining the function, we can say that the function is continuous everywhere except possibly at x is equal to 3. So let us verify. So let us have f of 3. So for f of 3, in reference to the given function, f of 3 is equal to 6. When x is equal to 3, y is 6. Let us now get the limit of the function as x approaches 3. So in reference to the given piecewise function, we're going to use x squared minus 9 over x minus 3. If we're going to do f of 3 for this function, we would be doing, for this case, that would be 3 squared minus 9 over 3 minus 3. So I have f of 3 is equal to 9 minus 9 over 0. So I have 0 over 0. So we have indeterminate in form for this given function. Therefore, we would be doing factoring. So I have x minus 3 and x plus 3 over x minus 3. So this would be cancelled. So what's left would be the limit of x plus 3 as x approaches 3. And by substitution, we would be having 3 plus 3, and therefore, the limit of this function is equal to 6. Now, we compare f of 3 and the limit of x squared minus 9 over x minus 3 as x approaches 3, or the left-hand side and the right-hand side limit of the given function. Since they are equal, then we can say that the function is continuous at x is equal to 3. For another example, we have this piecewise function and we would like to get if the function is continuous or not at x is equal to 2. This function is continuous everywhere except possibly at 2. So let's have f of 2. So between the two functions, we're going to use x cubed minus 2x plus 1 because of the restriction of less than or equal to. So we would be having 2 cubed minus 2 times 2 plus 1. So this would be 8 minus 4 plus 1. Therefore, we have 5 for f of 2. Now let us have the limit of the function as x approaches 2. So let us first get the left-hand side of the limit, or 2 from the left. So between the two functions, we are going to use x cubed minus 2x plus 1. So this would be the limit of x cubed as x approaches 2 from the left, minus 2 times the limit of x as x approaches 2 from the left plus the limit of 1 as x approaches 2 from the left. So we have 
2 cube minus 2 times 2 plus 1. So we have 8 minus 4 plus 1 and this would be 5. Now let us try to get the limit of the function as x approaches 2 from the right. So we're going to use the second function now because of this restriction which is x is greater than 2. So we have 3x minus 2. So we can have the limit of 3x as x approaches 2 minus the limit of 2 as x approaches 2. And therefore we have 3 by 2 minus 2. So we have 6 minus 2 and therefore we have 4. Comparing the left-hand side limit to our right-hand side limit, we can say that the limit of the function as x approaches 2 does not exist because this one is not equal to 4. And therefore, since the limit does not exist, we can say that this function is discontinuous at x is equal to 